So people on TRT are getting double, 100% more testosterone every week than the average person. Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. So there's this big misconception out there that being on TRT is very similar to being natural simply because your testosterone levels on TRT are supposed to be in the normal range. Well, let me show you why this is pure bullshit. The average person with shitty genetics and shitty lifestyle, so bad nutrition, bad sleep, whatever, produces about 20 milligrams of testosterone every week. The average person with average genetics average lifestyle management produces about 50 milligrams of testosterone every week now if you have amazing genetics or you have amazing recovery management great sleep great nutrition great everything then you produce about 70 milligrams of testosterone every week and keep in mind this is extremely rare most people are going to be around this number here around 50 milligrams a week now if you're on trt even a low dose 150 milligrams of trt let's say testosterone inanthate, once you remove the ester weight, you are getting 105 milligrams of testosterone every week. So people on TRT are getting double, 100% more testosterone every week than the average person and 50% more than people with amazing genetics and amazing lifestyle management. And this is with just a low dose of about 140 to 150 milligrams of testosterone and keep in mind that some are getting up to 200 milligrams if they can convince the doctors to prescribe them a dose that high. So don't let anybody tell you that just because they're on TRT or HRT, it puts them in the same category as a person who's natural. It is such a toxic and dangerous lie because it makes the average person think that if they don't feel like a person on TRT, if they don't look like a person on TRT, then they must be doing something wrong. No, motherfucker. They're in a completely different league. And keep in mind, they also maintain high levels of testosterone throughout most of the week from the first injection until the next injection. Meanwhile, as a natural, you have to deal with the daily fluctuations in testosterone, which obviously is released throughout the night, peaks in the morning, and starts to crash during the day. So they have higher free testosterone levels, higher total testosterone levels, and a more stable concentration of high testosterone levels as long as they time their injections right so stop falling for the bullshit stop falling for the oh i'm not on steroids i'm only on trt bullshit it is so toxic because it teaches young naive naturals that they can attain the same amount of energy levels same amount of aggression levels motivation levels and obviously same amount of muscle definition and maturity same amount of muscle growth as a person on trt not even close best case scenario the most you get is a buy hair, right? Which is roughly 10 milligrams of testosterone per day. Everybody else, mostly here, right? Around six to seven milligrams of testosterone a day. And if you're just fucking everything up, if your sleep is trash, your nutrition is trash, your micronutrients are trash, you live a very stressful lifestyle, you're not eating enough food, whatever, then the most you make is about three to four milligrams of testosterone a day, right? So natties out there, try your hardest to strive for this level right and if you can go slightly higher than that great but don't think that you'll produce quote-unquote trt levels unless you have a fucking tumor in your hypothalamus or you have some genetic condition that makes your body overproduce testosterone strive for this range and trust me you will feel amazing even at 70 milligrams of testosterone per week naturally obviously assuming that your androgen receptors are normal and that your sex hormone body and globulin levels are not too high right your motivation will be high your recovery from training will be high your energy levels will be high your sex drive will be high your bone density will go up pretty much you're going to reap almost all of the benefits of high testosterone without having to join the dark side right now obviously you're not going to have them as high right you're not going to have those factors as high as somebody on trt but you're also not going to have the side effects uh, that someone on trt has all right so strive for here guys and don't use these guys as a comparison or a measuring stick completely differently and keep in mind this is not even ipb uh bodybuilders ipb bodybuilders are getting at least five times higher doses than this oh and remember i'm not against trt i'm not even against steroids i'm against the wrong people using it in my opinion steroids should be reserved for only three groups of people one professional athletes so if you're in the nfl if you're in sports professional bodybuilding ifbb at the elite level You'd be an idiot to step on stage and try to compete with the other roided guys if you're natural. 
And same thing as sports. If you're playing in a very brutal and a competitive sport with millions of dollars on the line and you're getting knocked around every day, then shit, do whatever the fuck you want with your life because that's what puts money in your table. The second group of people, obviously the people that steroids were invented for, which are your ill patients, burn victims, cancer patients, people that are rotting away in bed. Well, obviously the doctor's gonna inject them with steroids because that's literally why testosterone derivatives were invented for in order to reverse the loss of muscle tissue from disease or burns or stuff like that and number three the third group is obviously people who were fucked at birth with some genetic condition that does not allow them to produce testosterone naturally so if you're not an athlete a professional athlete you're not a fucking burn or cancer or hiv patient and number three you don't have a genetic condition or disease that prevents you from producing testosterone naturally you have no business hopping on the juice but again that's just my opinion do whatever the fuck you want do what makes you happy just remember that it is best to stay natural and simply eat well train well sleep well then hop onto a lifetime commitment that can have severe consequences but anyway guys hope this video helps see you in the comment section join the tiktok join the reddit where we have a lot more of these conversations all right guys don't forget to like or share the video subscribe and hit the bell and buy my hsp nucleus of a little training program it's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth it includes full body workout splits bro splits push pull home workouts you name it also comes with a complete guide for macros nutrition fat loss muscle growth hormones including a meal plan it's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book you're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas of Lord. Or you could just buy the share at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.